Today we're going to be talking about how to find work, and in this particular work problem, we have a rope that weighs four pounds per foot, which is hoisting a 300 pound weight up the side of a building from the ground all the way to the top of the building, and the building is 500 feet tall. So with any problem like this where you have some kind of a rope or a cable or whatever it is pulling a weight up, you want to find the work on the rope separately from the work on the weight or the mass, whatever it is. So we'll have two pieces, one work problem for the rope, one work problem for the weight, and then we'll add them together to get total work done. So let's go ahead and start with the weight because that's the easier piece. So we have a weight that's 300 pounds, so we'll say the weight first. We'll do that piece first. So the weight is 300 pounds. Well, work is force times distance, and sometimes that's all you need for your formula. Sometimes you need to dig into the force piece of this more, and if you have to calculate force, then the equation for force is mass times the gravitational constant, or just the weight of your object. If you're given the weight of your object in pounds, for example, that gives you the weight, and that weight already factors in the gravitational constant, so you don't need to multiply it by gravity. So depending on what you're given, if you're given a 300 pound weight, then you can just say that force is 300 pounds. If you're given an object that has a mass of 300, then you have to take 300 and multiply by the gravitational constant of 9.8 to get force. But in this case, we have 300 pounds, so we can just say that force is equal to 300. So when we get work, we'll get work equals a force of 300 times a distance. Well, the weight is on the ground, and we're hoisting it all the way to the top of the building. The building is 500 feet tall, so that means that we're hoisting it a distance of 500 feet. So that means that the work done on the weight itself is 150,000 foot-pounds. Now the units here, it's not pounds per foot or feet per pounds, it's foot-pounds, foot-pounds, which makes sense here because our 300 has units of pounds and our 500 has units of feet, so we get foot-pounds. So that's the work done on the weight itself. Now we need to do the work on the rope. And the work on the rope is a little bit more complicated because we have a rope that's hanging vertically down the side of the building and it's gonna take a different amount of work to lift each section of it. So here's what we're talking about. If we draw a picture of the building, right, we'll call this the building here, and this is the ground that the building's sitting on. So first of all, we can indicate X and Y axes, so this'll help us. If we put the origin right at the top of the building, and we call, we draw axes like this. So we'll draw axes like this, going down the building like this, we actually want to call this axis here the x-axis and this axis the y-axis because we want to do our problem in terms of x. So flipping the axes will make it a lot easier. We can call everything in terms of x. So we have our axes here and then now let's pretend that we have our rope and the rope is like this and it's hanging down the side of the building and it's attached to you know, the weight that's here at the bottom of the building. So we've got this rope and we're gonna be hoisting it up the side of the building. Well, the rope weighs four pounds per foot. So let's go ahead and start labeling a couple things. First we have the whole height of the building, which is 500 feet. And then if we take a slice out of part of this rope, like if we take a slice like this, we're gonna call the height of this or the width of this delta x. Essentially what we want to do is we want to calculate the work done to hoist up the rope. Well, that's going to be the work done to hoist up this piece plus the work done to hoist up this piece plus the work done to hoist up this piece, etc. And we're going to take an infinitely large number of these sections, so the sections will be infinitely small, and we're going to take these tiny slices the work done to hoist up each one of the slices and add them all together, and that's gonna give us the work done to hoist up the entire rope. So the width of one of these is gonna be delta x. Its distance from the top of the building here like this is going to be x sub i because we've moved out from the origin here, we've moved out from zero a distance of x along the x-axis, and we don't know exactly how far it is because we're just doing an approximation here, 
but it's a distance of x, we'll just call it, to get to this particular piece right here, whose width is delta x. So when we want to calculate the work done to hoist up this particular piece and then add those all together, essentially what we'll have is work equal to the limit as n approaches infinity, so we're saying an infinite number of these slices of this row, of the sum from i equals one, from one slice to an infinite number of slices of our work equation. And remember that our work equation is force times distance. Well, force will be the weight, pounds per foot, so four times delta x, the width of this particular slice. So four times delta x, and then we have force times distance. Distance is going to be how far we have to lift it to the top of the building, and that's x sub i, so x sub i. And when we take the limit of a sum as n goes to infinity, essentially what that becomes is the integral on the range here that we've been given, and that's zero to 500 because we start here at zero and we go out along the x-axis a distance of 500, right, because the building is 500 feet tall. So the integral from zero to 500 of what we have now, four times delta x times x sub i. Well, four and x sub i just turns into four x, we can drop the sub i. Delta x becomes dx. So we just have our integral like this, and now it's really simple just to solve it. So we'll take the integral, we'll get work equals. Now when we take the integral, we're gonna get two x squared, so two x squared. We'll evaluate that on the interval, 0 to 500. So we'll get work equals, when we plug in 500, we'll get 500 squared, which is 250,000. Multiply it by 2 gives us 500,000. And then we'll subtract whatever we get when we plug in 0. Well, obviously, when we plug in 0, we'll just get 0, which means that our work is just 500,000 foot pounds. So, foot pounds. So, this is the work done on the rope. This is the work done on the weight, so when we add them together, total work, we'll get 500,000 plus 150,000, which is a total work of 650,000 foot-pounds. And that's the total work done to hoist the rope and the weight up to the top of the building. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.